sense. If Clifford's a kaiju, then... Oh, shit, the light's on. Fuck. Oh. Hello, everybody. It's Front Row Geeks. Friday Night uh, Frantic Fridays. I'm back in the seat, guys. Yep, I had to get out of the way. He wanted back. He wanted the chair back. So, we're going to be doing a Zelda game that doesn't involve Zelda at all. Wait, so who's Link rescuing, then? It's not Link. Oh. We are rescuing a princess, but it's not oh. Link. Oh. Also, I keep saying oh, even though I'm looking right at the title underneath <laughs> our right now streaming. Yep. So... Give me a moment to get everything open, and we shall you, begin. You didn't, have, you didn't even have everything open? Uh... I, I had everything open and ready to go, but the game just kind of goes straight into the thing. So I wanted to show off a little bit uh... about what it looks like. And get ready for a lot of puns. Brave Fencer Musashi! Ooh, that's a little loud. So... While that's going on, I'm going to lessen the volume that Musashi's at while it's doing the attract mode. But uh, this is Brave Fencer Musashi, uh, a PlayStation 1 game uh, developed by Squaresoft. And uh, I actually have fond memories because this is one of the few games that I actually beat when I rented it. Oh? Yeah. Uh... So, as such, uh, I... Brave Fencer Musashi! Uh, didn't full, uh, like, didn't completely complete it until much later. So... Uh, also, everything in this game is all voice... Uh, most things are voice acted in this game. Oh, so, pretty, cool. pretty good. Um, just be ready for a lot of weird food puns, by the way. Let's do it! Food puns. Uh, you'll, you'll see uh, it immediately. Well, I'll see it after a slight delay. Yeah. I'm on the delay side now. Yeah, since uh, we know that my connection doesn't can't handle like screen sharing and streaming at the same time, at least currently. Yeah. Ah yes. All you can eat palace. Wow. <laughs> That's only the beginning. <laughs> there does be no effect. They shall find it out about soon. Uh, also, I'm not uh, advancing this. This is all auto advancing. So. Like, why is the vigil type so large? Does this mean? Butler livers. It is eminently necessary that you this perform a hero summon. <laughs> oh, we ah, can yes, find this character. Know. The lovely and handsome Grey Fencer Musashi. Princess, please resume your assignment. Scribe Shanky. So this is clearly, this is clearly beef, uh, beef Castle. So far, but, but we'll see more. Oh, he is here! Our gracious hero, Brave Fencer Musashi. Oh, he's rather <laughs> small. This will not do. <laughs> it must have been too large of a task for the princess. Hey, wait! And <laughs> Sonic Hedgehog's <laughs> pierce. Have you guys Good one, seen Eric. Musashi? <laughs> yeah. No, we haven't. Then maybe the real Sumo Musashi is this puny little thing. Oh yes, the best line. Uh, the best line is coming up. you say was puny and why are you guys wearing such stupid costumes stupid costumes take that back you you little turd <laughs> please princess so little turd calm it down the name's musashi you geezer oh 
Sir Little Turd. Sir Little Turd. You're not serious, are you? It's too much of a chore for this little lad. If the princess summoned him, he must not be a credible hero. What do you guys want? Let me go home. I'm busy, you know? You don't need to guide the right hero, I would presume. the right hero. I would presume. You to save <laughs> the wrong hero. So you can't go back to your room until you save ours. Uh, isn't it just a shame? And you will remain in this world until the absorbed Bincho energy from the summoning disappears. Oh man. Bincho energy. What do you mean I have to save this world? And I'll die if that what's it energy disappears? Ha! There doth not be enough time. You must immediately head forth with to Spiral Tower. They will definitely be prowling about the area looking for you. There does not be enough time. Thus, please take this with you. <laughs> you, you can already guess what Ribson's uh, hey, shtick is. Pretty cool looking sword. Fusion Extremely has overdone uh, archaic or old English. When it yes. An enemy, Ye it old English. <laughs> and assimilates its abilities. Next. It and the ability comes back to you. Also, I'm sorry if my mic pops, it's just I'm it's having cool. to keep my fan Assimilate. on because it's too fucking warm. Assimilate? Sounds cool. So he loaded Thanks, his now. mic It'll with pop rocks to help cool down. <laughs> Got my fan blowing directly on me. And this note. That's a luminous sheet. We want you to go to Spiral Tower, which is like right behind the castle. The sword of luminescence, Lumina, is on the roof. That note will show you how to get there. Okay, so I need to get Lumina. Aww, right? that's sad. That's right. Our world can have peace when we have Lumina and the five scrolls. And if you're the real Musashi, you can get Lumina. We're counting on you, you know? Huh? Ribson? Where's Musashi? He doth be waked, princess. Impatient doth he be. Also, I'm pretty sure the character designer for this game is the same person that actually worked on Final Fantasy Tactics. Ugh! Why'd you mention that one? Why do I have to do this? Yes, what the heck? I'll get Lumina, uh, and then I'm out of here. Okay. So, while I'm showing things off... Uh, there is a quotations sequel slash reimagining called Samurai Legend Musashi. Also, hello, Orbital Demon. Hi, Orbital. Ow. Yeah, for her, she probably wants to do that. You're generally supposed to dodge up. Aha! Looks up the box art. That's. Yeah, it could be helpful. So, uh, they explained that uh, fusion here, uh, Musashi's essentially light attack, uh, can absorb enemy abilities if you charge it up. And yeah, it, sounds, it sounds like perfume is basically protected. But different enemies have different abilities. So uh, I'm like kind of warrior guy apparently had gunshot. Uh, the, one of the the gun guy had. Uh... Oh, now you have a pew pew. Yeah, if I chose to use it. But it causes BP to use it. It causes B, uh, BP, which is the green bar. Go away. And I'm guessing it recharges over time or something? Or just like when you... Uh, it can recharge over time.
Aw, oh, man. I'm not getting my enemy smacks. Uh, so, uh, a little bit to explain about Samurai Legend, which we may not actually play, but th this is both something I knew and something I didn't know about Samurai Legend. Oh, sorry. I just figured out what the Thiwi was. The world ends with you. Yes. Is the fact that Samurai Legend, uh, uh, Samurai Legend Musashi was the game that they developed coming off of Kingdom Hearts. Which explains why it's very Kingdom Hearts style. And the fact that uh, Nomura also did most of the art direction in that one as well. Uh... So these weird green orbs also help me... Ah, yes, they recharge your BP. Yes. Uh, I think you were getting, like, hearts that we recharged your HP. Yep. So, this game is, this is very, uh, very Zelda-like. Hmm, where's that note I got at the castle? Let's see. The path will not open unless you sacrifice a warrior. <laughs> Maybe those statues have something to do with it. Something's under this statue. Give it a stomp. <laughs> I like how it's like, give it a stomp, and apparently all that means is step on it. Yeah. And I'm avoiding this very, very angry face. Yeah, I was gonna say, he, he does not look like I'm very happy to see you. Nope. He looks like he's offended by your presence. Who is this small child, and why is he not attended? Also, when they called him puny, I totally had a little FMA flashback. I expected <laughs> him to pull out an Elric quote. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this platform is already nerve wracking to me, and I'm not even the one playing. This is the kind of place where I fall back down to the ground floor several times before I actually make it up. There is actually an invisible wall, thankfully. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then I have... No camera control. Yeah, th there is uh, no invisible wall, but there is a section that uh, the invisible wall ends at, so as you just probably saw. <laughs> Over past the door, you mean? Yes. And I like how there's some really the good lights. camera... Where is this place? <laughs> When the there's good camera work in some cases, and darkness, then there's a light why can't I control up. camera in others? Well, Whatever. this is a PS1 game, so... Yeah. Also, I like how we have these hanging dead bodies. Do you? Do you like that? Which is funny, because that's totally a 2D asset. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a new guy, I'm surprised you didn't try to instinct him. Oh, that's because, uh... I'm trying to get as much money as possible. Uh... And you get money when you kill, but not necessarily when you instinct. Yeah. Blanket it with darkness. Does it mean to put out that flame? Hmm. Also, so you could really go for some Hey, I here. know. Yeah. If that bell drops onto the flame, so. it'll go out. 
drop the bell on it? Drop a yeah, bell on it! Right also, here. bats drop health! Isekai misdirection story? That would be funny. That would be kind of fun. I'm gonna toss this guy at the bell. <laughs> So, like, I'm curious, would that mean that the story is is set up to be an isekai, but then it actually isn't? Or that the character thinks they're in an isekai scenario, but uh, is actually wrong? It's not oh, wait, like any know. other Summon Legendary Hero thing, but, like, Episode 3, you actually defeat the bad guy, and the rest of the series is the Legendary Hero having to deal with being stuck in the world <laughs> and being a hero. Oh, uh, that's actually... That, that's actually kind of cool, because I've been... Uh, reading some of the quotations isekai stories where the main character is not the main hero Whoa, but he's still stuck there so anyway so oh no huh? So, as you can probably guess, what I'm trying to do is something very, very... Let me guess, you're trying to drop one of them on that and then rush across before they wake up? Actually. Oh, or you just go bowling. That doesn't just seem like a good answer, though. So, I don't need Gunshot anymore, but I need Stun. This is what these charge guys do. So you need to get ones that step onto the plate and then stun them there. Oh, come on. There we go. And... Nope, not quite. Oh, never mind. You're in the future. Yes, future. So, ah, I see the future you is doing is pulling the sword from the stone. And we've now got Lumina, which is Musashi's heavy attack. So, Musashi actually has light and heavy attacks. Nothing too complicated about it. And Angry Skull is really angry. Aw, oh, man. The music is not playing. Aww. It's supposed to be a very hectic soundtrack playing right now, and I'm sad. Now here's the fun thing, I literally can just let Musashi just go, uh, like, I just need to jump when I he tells me to. When he's like, whoa, jump. Not anymore, but like, I literally do, oh god. I literally do not have to actually dodge. And... Well, that was me being... Uh, I think you might have needed to dodge on a couple of those. Yeah. So, Dodging thank... boulders might be a good idea. Thankfully... Checkpoint. Thankfully, since you're a summoned hero, you can't, you cannot kill what is uh, not really alive. Yeah. There's another place where it would be nice to be able to control your camera, but again, yes, one era, really good. Time. Okay, I did jump, but I jumped a little bit too early. Oh, so you got Nope. Oh! I jumped into the water. And this this section is scripted so that uh, you technically cannot be behind the head. Yeah. So normally if you jumped in the water, you'd be able to fish yourself out, but that would put you behind the head and they're... 
Well, it, like, um, because, uh, the, uh, like, the way it works is that Musashi technically cannot swim. Oh. That's awkward. So, what happens is you just basically get teleported to... The nearest right before the jump. Yeah. But that puts you behind the head. Yeah. And we're good. Yeah, once you dodge the boulders. Yep. And we're straight into a boss fight, by the way. <laughs> Excellent. Well, not immediately, but we do get some good cutscene about who our bad guys are. <laughs> Princess, hey, who are you? Who boy. <laughs> I'm Rude Trick, and you're. Musashi! Musashi? <laughs> God, these you're voices. The summon hero? Yeah, pull my leg. Now. Give me I love how the first time the uh, root rick's do, talking, they put his, uh, they put who am I in the root rick. <laughs> in the brain, yeah, in the right. brain. You wish, the pal. Let's yeah. Go the princess. <laughs> Y'all being fooled. Them their flames. That's me. That should work. <laughs> Shoot, I'm sweating buckets here. What should I do? Like, what are you saying? Use Lumina! <laughs> their flames can't be oh, put yeah. out easily. So, as people have been seeing, I've been using the charge meter to use fusion. The charge meter is actually used for quite a lot of things, actually. So, uh, Lumina is triangle, whereas fusion is square. You will sail many nearby enemies. Now do a test run. And also nearby fighters. <laughs> I got you now, Rudrick. All right, Lumina. Musashi, just hurry up and bash this hunk of lard. Ugh. Whap. Aw, oh, shucks. Shut up, you dumb gal. Or else y'all gonna get a licking. Uh. See y'all later, Musashi. Oh, have yourself a nice day. <laughs> What the? Hey, wait! Oh, Rootrick. You no. big dumb stooge. Holy smokes! Hashtag Rootrick is over party 2020. I'd rather vote Steam Night 2020. Also, the, em uh, the evil Thirst Quencher Empire. Come on! You're history, oh, pal! Geez. I so did think. war with Triple K. Okay. I'm guessing the arrows are telling you to attack the weak points from that. Yeah. Um, uh, looks like it's even a jump. Ooh, that hurts. So. Ah. Okay. All right, and then you go back under and... And we toss the Steam Knight out, and time for round two! <laughs> With the other two, you didn't break them. I'm just finally remembering how to handle Steam Knight, and it's... Yeah, I know I'm taking a lot of damage. Just a little bit. Uh, 
Ah. And time for round three, I'm presuming. Yeah. Oh no, the town! Come on, jump, you bastard! Yeah, he's having a good old time destroying the town. There we go. And he jumps into that person. So I only need to hit him one more time. He only needs to hit you like three more times. Ow. Oh man. Got hit. Wow. Wow, with a slip, huh? Yeah. Aha! Got him! Goodbye, Steam Knight! That was nearly goodbye, Musashi! <laughs> oh, and then you destroyed the city wall, too. And... Goodbye! Scrunch. So, that was the first boss. <laughs> And Musashi falls asleep. Boop. Yes, I would like to save. Select this file. Yes, I would like to save this. Uh, select this file. So you only get four save slots. Ooh. For you, that's a terrible thing. There's nothing missable in this game. Oh, uh, okay. So... Chapter 2, A New Journey. So, time for force tutorial time. Where is this place? Sir Musashi, thou hast awakened it. Hey, God damn it. He had a lovely Wait, nap, I presume he's back met? to full health. Yes. <clears throat> I'm Livers, the butler. The Who butler. That? Why am I here? <laughs> we found it thou sleeping after thou defeated Thirst Quencher's abominable robotic. So oh. we brought it thou <laughs> to hither roometh. <laughs> I forgot about that line. Oh yeah, and that big imbecile with the cape. He kidnapped the princess. That loser, I let him get away. Hey geezer, do I have to save the princess to go back to my world? Thou art be it corrected. However, they will not sit around quietly. They will come hither for Lumina. Something special about Lumina? Indeed. Legendary brave fencer Musashi used Lumina, the sword of luminescence, to sealeth away the wizard of darkness. Hmm. And when it absorbs not all the five at all. scrolls, earth, water, fire, wind, and sky, Thou doth will inheriteth extraordinary powers. The Sword of Luminescence, Lumina and the Five Scrolls. No wonder they want them. Thou doth will So where can I get my hands on the Five Scrolls? Uh, <coughs> if only our uh, fortune teller uh, Seer Beaverly were here, she would know. Oh yes, yeah, see, uh, Seer Beaverly. Dude, huh? No, she was kidnapped. What? 
So the princess is not the only one? Well, actually, so. there were 40 people at All You Can Eat Palace. Now and yes, it's All You Can Eat Palace. <laughs> they all been sealed within Pinchot Fields and scattered in all directions. Pinchot Fields? What are they? Are they the Thirst Quencher Empire's so doing? The Thirst Quencher has yes, uh, I saw kidnapped it myself. 35 people. Yes, including the princess. Diamonds and then just poof, vanished. I can't believe it. So I guess one of them was the fortune teller, right? So that means I have to save not only the princess but everyone else too. Sir Musashi, I knew that thou would help with us. God damn it, rips in. Thou mayest break Bincho Fields easily with Lumina. Oh, and these will help thou. So, uh, we got the rescue list, which is the list of 35 people we have to rescue. And the sensor watch, which may not show up properly on stream. When if that watch flashes well, red, I'll, sh I'll try and show it off when we're next nearby. to uh, Bincho Field. The people who you say will help okay. you on your journey. Good luck, sir, Musashi. Grillin Village is located ah, yes. the nearby. This castle. Grillin this Village. Before thou goest, thou should do some research in the castle's library. Nah. Nah, studying sucks. If thou will be a sloth, the princess will not be saved, and thou will never return home. It's a bust, uh, but thou must moment. <laughs> okay, I'll go hit the books. Good luck, Sir Masashi. I forgot I'm guessing to there's no uh, Final Fantasy VI. So if you refuse enough wish. times, it just gives you a different Please path. Take care on your yeah, this sir. one just keeps repeating, like, but but thou must, essentially. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we, we get to talk to Scribe Shanky again. Oh, Sir Musashi, been waiting for you. Who are you? I'm Scribe Shanky. Well, you see, my job for now is to read these books for you. Come closer. So, we actually get a little look into the actual menu of what it looks like. So, let's see. Musashi, a hero who used Lumina Sword and Lumina Seal, the way the Lizard of Darkness. And technically, that's all what we really need to do. But probably one thing that I would always recommend people read is the Legendary Armor. Because this is where it kind of gets into the Zelda-esque bits, is that there are things that we will earn or find that allows us to do more stuff in the game. All right, the quit button is triangle. That's oh, weird. So it's, that so it's something to the uh, to the angular degree of yep, like there. getting the Zora flippers well, or then, the uh, strength you gauntlets. Go down yes. The village. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, let's see. It's a shame that also, the gondola is broken. It's weird, oh, and oh, if this I is a spoiler, know. I apologize to anyone who's hearing swords. this that isn't already aware of this game. Because this Lumina is me being completely blind and making oh, a guess yes. based on what I'm seeing. You can go along but this honestly feels like a 12-year-old fever dream of a this Like, this is actually a kid who skips school because he is, uh, he's sick and is having a fever dream right now of getting teleported to this world. Actually, that's not spoiler territory. That's just downright wrong. So... Uh, that's how it reads. I'm sorry. So, uh, whenever you go to the castle, uh, you can... Like, all... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you can go visit, uh, Ribson, and see if you can talk to people... Uh, Musashi, why did thou come hither? And talk to people you've rescued. And here's the funny thing. You can actually ask for, to visit Ribson, and he's right there. And he goes, I'd be right here, Musashi. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, also, we have a clown that was not, uh, stolen away. Clown Weenie. And his partner, oh, yeah. Acrobat Sausages. 
So, uh, some of the people like uh, there's uh, the only people that are in, in rescued are Stewart, which is Ribson, Butler, which is Livers, Clown Weenie, Scribe, which is Shanky, and the musicians are interesting because uh, the more re uh, musicians we rescue, the, there's five in total, each add to the musical score in the castle. Oh. It's actually kind of fun, because like, I didn't notice that my first playthrough, but the second time, I was like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> beef clef. Yes, beef clef. They put a food pun and a music pun both into the name. Well done. I, I did say, get ready for... Uh, I... I'm so used to circle being cancel in early, and this one is like triangle and not circle. Triangle to cancel? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. My it's number one goal would be dream. remapping. <laughs> uh, I would have to remap, uh, 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 hit uh, remap except to X, and cancel the circle, or my life is incomplete. So, uh, the sub-menu, this is the actual menu, and this is where it gets into more... Oh god, I just saw his, ti uh, his title. God damn it. So, this is a square game, so there is leveling. Oh god, yep, I see it. <laughs> so, uh, everything is basically pretty straightforward. Body is defense, mind is absorption, fusion is... Fusion's attack, Lum, uh, Lum is Lumina, and Lumina is attack. And they all operate on the same principle that essentially Morrowind uh, worked on, which is you just earn them by doing things. You take damage that, bo that beefs your body, you okay. take magic damage that beefs your mind, etc. Correct. However, unlike uh, certain things... You will be level capped until you do certain things in the game. Ah. So, command here, we have a small item list that we carry around. Armor is, of course, the legendary armors, which I will get into because there is a part where you have to choose one or the other. And I'm going to put that under your purview, Michael, when we get to it. It's, oh. it's a pretty straightforward uh option but when we get to it i will tell you what each uh what what armor uh, what each item does and which one technically is better now so is it possible that by me having that power of decision that i could make the game awkward or harder or easier uh you could make it uh just different because the options are definitely one that you would basically go like i Dear God, if I had that in any game, I would take that in, in a heartbeat. Versus, oh, that's a standard equipment piece. Eh. Okay, you already know my decision even before I get the choice. I do, but I'm still going to leave it up to you when we get to it. Okay, well, I might, I might, be, I might choose something different just to be spiteful. We'll see. We'll see what happens, kids. So, uh, technique is that since actually Musashi has have light and heavy attacks, he can actually do uh, essentially combos. <laughs> Uh, now, the way you learn them is actually through rescuing people. Which is why they're actually kind of important. Mm -hmm. And as for the Luma thing, yeah, we'll get into that when we get into that. Now we just have Su Musashi decide to zipline his way down uh, the mountain uh, from the castle to all you can eat vill uh, to Grillin Village. This is Grillin Village? Let's see what I can find out. But first, I'm kinda hungry. Better eat before I starve. Doesn't look like they were very good breaks it, I haven't had anything line. since... Uh, well... I better get some grub first. Uh, he, he was only using his swords. Uh... And... Everybody is named, by the way. So... This is... This guy's name is actually Macho. He, I, I would say the name is accurate. 
And yes, the camera is actually fully controllable. It's just in certain sections, it will actually lock itself in place. So yes, I am twirling the camera around right now. It's just, it's set up in such a weird fashion that it's like, eh. Oh! So you can't control the camera to a degree, but it's stuck in an isometric. Yes, I can control it to a certain degree, just in certain circumstances or certain things. It will then go into a locked uh, thing. And we have a pink thing here. Looks you like animal dung. I wonder if something's nearby. This will actually be kind of important, but I won't, uh, but we don't have time for it right now. Oh. Animal dung. It's poop. Well, I mean, yes, that is what dung means. Yeah. And yes, you can go onto trees and climb them up like an actual, like, Mario character. But unlike Mario... Yeah, Mannix Restaurant, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., closed Sunday. So, yes, to explain, we actually do have... There is actually a day-night cycle in Musashi. And you can see the time and the day in the bottom corners. In 6 Mus p.m. to 2 a.m. is a really weird time window for a restaurant, but okay. Well, actually, technically, this is kind of a thing is that that's actually a bar. Ah... Uh... It was, I'm presuming it was changed in translation. Yes. And we'll see some more oh, meddling. Why do you have a basket on your head? <laughs> it's not a basket, silly. It's a knight's helmet. Tim has a legendary helmet. Ah, yes. Tim. This asshole. Yo, I'm Tim. My mom owns the grocery. Who the heck are you? I'm Musashi. Nice to meet you. Whoa, what a brat. <laughs> Little boys shouldn't be playing with swords. I'm gonna tell on you! Yeah, a lot of people keep going like, Musashi is way too tiny. So, let's let, let's go grab some healing items by going to the grocery. Like I would also Welcome. like to point out that based on the, uh, on the... Um, on the portrait art, Tim has no business talking about little kids. Yes. Because he looks like he's like freaking eight. Have you met my son, Tim? And what do you need? So, uh, I forget her name already, but uh, Hilda. Hilda is yeah. basically going to be our one of the mainstays for healing items. Oh, okay. And there is, in certain things, an actual uh, item degradation. Uh, medicines will not degradate, uh, but things like... Uh, so, not gonna... Uh, so, I so make... So, medicine stays good no matter how long you hold on to it, but yeah. it looks like food does change, because I saw... Uh, cheese that said it gets better as it ages. Ah, yes. So, there is a cheaper way of getting cheese. So, uh, Hilda's one of them, but we also have a bread store! A bakery! So, Welcome. jam here. Are you new to this area? Yeah, I'm Usashi. I'm staying at the palace. Oh, I feel sorry for Jam. Oh, how lucky. So, Be can I help you? We'll, we'll find out later. But, uh, so, uh, the bakery sells better healing items, but they do spoil. So, you saw how pricey cheese was, right? Yeah, it was like 250 dollars uh, 380 but... Oh, wow. It was actually higher than I thought I saw. Yeah. Here we have milk, which is 70. You can guess what I'm going to be doing, because technically you can... The, one of the non-cheaty tricks is uh, to gain a lot of money, which t 
to be honest, you don't need, because there's... As long as you don't try and go after secret items... Well, well not the secret items. But let, let's go into the uh, action figure store. Hello. So I'm guessing you can turn milk into cheese? By just letting it sit in your inventory. That's definitely not how cheese works, but okay, you do your game. <laughs> so, this is the part that people get really pissed at, because the collectibles, the toy shop, uh, this is part of the whole uh, thing that technically some people will try and speedrun the game for. Uh, I will probably be not spending enough time in the toy shop. Because that's a lot. Now, for the this shop that's next by the inn that has the bed, this is the appraisers. We'll get into that when we can. So, let's go look around town. Ah, yes, Leno. Mrs. Lenz. And we have the uh, very, very... How should I put this? Um, talkative people. So we can knock on houses in Grelin Village and talk to people inside. So we get to make McRice. My name's Musashi. I'll be staying here for a while. Good to hear, good to hear. Well, later then. So, yes, just uh, just about everybody actually does have a voice in this game. They may not have many, but it's actually pretty impressive when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to find somebody who's right here. And uh, try and guess this guy's voice when he pops up. Oh, he doesn't speak yet, because I have to go talk to the mayor. Old man! We do actually get to hear the mayor's voice, uh, but it's just one of those... It's weird that it's not playing right now. But then again, I'm advancing the text, which generally, uh, they don't voice those lines. But yeah, everybody just initially puts Musashi as he's a kid because of, like, how tiny he is. So right now our Joel is, uh, job is to find out more about the Five Scrolls. The beloved do uh, town dog, Leno, has disappeared. So we kind of go have to find Leno. How can you not give permission when everybody keeps saying I have to talk to the mayor to get permission? Yeah, for real. So. Let's see. Ah, that's the button. So Wait, there. And he, just said, and he just said that you have to go to an area he can't give you permission to to get the dog to become a citizen. Yeah, it's weird. So, I'm going to do something else in the meantime. I'm going to go to this place called Steamward Forest. And... Oh, right. That's the wrong way to go about this. Whoop! Onto the pipe, Musashi. So, just by wandering around gets us a mind up. So, okay. Since I'm next to a bincho field, 
Uh, I'm going to sit here for a moment and see, uh, do you see if the two kind of brass dials around Musashi and Lumina are flashing uh, slightly red? Uh, I can see flashing. I can't really, yeah, I can kind of see red. I definitely see them uh, like flashing though. So yeah, this, uh, that is the sensor watch that they mentioned. So uh, I'm guessing you're probably wondering how, uh, like, how is this Zelda like? Well. BP is essentially magic. So, by rescuing people, in this case, we rescued musician Pianissimeet. Uh, not only do we get somebody knocked off the list, uh, we also absorb the Bincho field and gain a little ma uh, gain. 5 BP in the process. So BP is Bincho points. Yep. And I actually looked up a little something about trying to figure out what the hell Bincho, uh, like, what Bincho could be. And what I found out, come on, Musashi, get on the pipe, is it's a major uh, Izakaya restaurant chain in Japan. So I don't think they couldn't figure anything unless they decide to call these things Denny's Fields <laughs> or something like that. So... Oh, yeah, there's another one right there. We that's found pretty Acrobat pretty Sausages! <laughs> that's pretty good. I mean, we're already we're already two of the 33 found. Or 33? No. 35. 30, 35? 35. So, so there's 33 left. There's a reason my mind that said 33. Yes. So, uh, Sausages is like, I can do stunts with Clown Weenie again. Uh, not yet. I'm sad to say. So, if you're wondering why I say that, um, uh, like, making cheese for money is stupid, this gold coin here, Respawns every time you leave the area. And now to show off a fun little feature of fusion. Fusion is a boomerang. So it will retrieve items for you. Well, did you shoot in the right direction? Yep. Ooh, ooh. We are close. To, okay. So, I'm going to show off something real quick. Uh, that's not the pipe I wanted to do, but... So, I'm going to go back to where that... Uh, where we found that poop. Because this is kind of important. And sometimes you'll just see me start hopping about because the walking speed is atrocious in this game. So, I'm betting you're wondering, how do I up my health? If the answer is poop, I'm concerned. Nope, it's these little white bunny things. And I'm surprised that I actually got that first try. Holy shit. So, welcome to essentially the heart p uh, the heart containers, longevity berries. Mm -hmm. They will increase my HP by twenty five points. Wow. So that's the important of Martin notching down where that poop is. So I'm guessing that it's just like at different times of day, like in this case, you just have to go back at night. Uh, they, it will always be at night rough uh, and will usually you want to find, uh, go to where those locations are roughly about like uh, 2200 since this actually uses military time. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically about 10 p.m. is when you want to go in there. And, uh, 
find things. So, well, let's go check out the inn. Welcome. Oh, who's staying here by yourself? Owned by yeah, Hotello. I'm on a journey. Hotello. How admirable for such oh, a small child. Wait until later. Then we get to meet his brother. Mint. Anyways, make yourself at home. Uh, also, Hotello is the father of Mint, the little girl with the, the basket on her head, who's best friends with mm -hmm. Tim. Tim is Hilda's son, by the way. Yeah, we definitely got that. Uh, must we have some mischief? So, we can go here. Uh, this is essentially the save spot. And so yes, I. You make yourself at home that is when you save? Yep. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so technically, we have Wanda and Macho. The vacancies are rooms you can take, and they do uh, take various different hours. and But they will all heal you to full, by the way. So, what's the point then of staying in 203 versus 204? Uh, in this case, uh, let me go back. So. In this case, uh, 201 includes an ugly, uh, light snack, which means you basically just get a item to use with it. Uh, heals somewhat. Uh, 202 includes a meal. I, I think it's like certain things. Uh, meal and vaccine. The previous two do not heal, uh, do not like heal poison which is a thing whereas 203 will um and then 204 is literally just uh four walls in a bed four walls in a bed and you can only use it for three hours ah and i did it again because mm. so you just an accidental nap no i didn't so let's go check out the restaurant because it is open the oh no! I got there at two a.m., so it closed the door on me. Ooh. So, I'm pretty sure you saw me kind of switching around Lumina there to a moon. Yeah, I saw that when you would toggle in, it would go between Lumina and the moon. I'm guessing moon face. Welcome to nap time. <laughs> So, uh, the, you actually can essentially take a nap and advance time. Also, it's, also, you have a tired meter? Yes. And also, also, taking a nap costs you BP? Okay, that is a minor inconvenience for now. Uh, if I rested in a bed proper, like in Musashi's room, BP will be uh, filled back to full. Oh, okay. But sleeping out in the open, you just... Uh, hard rocks! Uh... Also, I cannot uh, sleep... Uh, like So if I tried to start uh, napping again, it would uh, also... Basically, I would stop at 20%, and that's, that would be it. And you wouldn't believe how many times as a kid I'd jump on this and try and get onto somebody's roof. Uh, no, I would. I would believe that. Yep. Because that mechanic tells me that I should be able to and I would be angry. So, let's go to Somlet Forest and do some work there because apparently we can't do anything yet. Nope, can't go that way. And we got some light flashing. Yeah, I see that. It's a slow pulse. I also see a chest underwater. That we can save for later. And we rescued Guard Lumpwood.
And technically, that's what we needed to do, but I actually want to go find some more Bincho Fields. Well, it's also super convenient that whenever you do uh, collect a Bincho Field, it auto-restores your BP as well. Yep. Yay, fusion up. So, time to get a weird ability. Hop. And trust me, Lumina will become probably one of the most damaging ability, uh, damaging weapons in the game. Well, of course, it's your heavy attack. Yep. So. Oh, that brings us over here. So. Uh, I will not be able to get all the Bincho fields in this area because they're kind of locked behind something. I can't. Uh, I don't have the ability to do yet. I'm guessing an ability that you get from a monster later on in the story, or something that you need a legendary equipment to get past. Kind of. Oh no. I've been sleeped. Now, sleeping actually uh, will restore health, by the way. Oh, so it's just uh, an enemy sleeping attack. Yep. Yeah, and it also seems to lower your tired. Yeah. Uh, admittedly, there will be a limit with us basically just as of right now, uh, Tired will stop at 20% and not advance any further, but we still gain all the nice little health benefits of sleeping. Up until they attack you again to wake you up, in which yeah. case you uh, take even more damage. And yes, every time I absorb an ability, it will tell me about it. Every time. Well, I mean, that's good, though. Yeah. So. Oh, jeez. Oh, so even if you absorb, even if you already absorbed in other words. Yes. Okay. And if, is this what I think it is? Uh, we are not ready for that section yet. Because we have no reason to go there. I mean, I'm sure we have reason to go there. We're just not ready to go there. Yeah. So... And when it says it consumes 8 BP, that's just 
8 BP right now. When you activate it. Well, it's an automatic activate. Oh, okay. I misunderstood that. Okay, so you're not it's not giving you an ability, it's giving you temporary access to the ability. Yeah. So that Yeah, so, uh, some abilities like Gunshot, and the green guys here give Lance, or actually I think they give Charge. So my question is, what do the shrimps give you? Uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> that is problematic. Uh-oh. Uh, if you really want to know what they give... Another one. I'm guessing it's another one that it's an automatic, uh, and then you have to cancel it. Uh, it's an automatic, and it will disperse after a bit. Ah. Uh. So, uh, if you really want to know, it gives, essentially, poison. Oh. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, to you. Oh! So... We actually did complete what we needed to do, which was rescue, uh, Lumpwood. Yeah. Admittedly, I'm half tempted to go back and go sleep in Musashi's room for a bit. When I have a complication I don't want to think about, I step it away in the problematic. The problematic. That's a good pun. I like that pun. Ooh. So, when you go to your room, uh, you can, of course, sleep. Uh, any toys that we get from the toy store will be here. Uh, I may purchase them, may not. So, do the toys give you a benefit, or is it just like a completionist thing? It's a completionist thing. Uh, because the toys, on uh, certain toys will only show up after certain things or events occur. There's one toy that you literally have to beat the game in a certain amount of time and then load up the New Game Plus game to uh, get it. And that's why I'm not going to be 100% completing this game. Sir Musashi, because that would involve speedrunning the game. Yes. So, let's go visit some of the people that we rescued. Like... Uh, Lumpwood is guarding the entrance to Twin Peak. Let's go listen to Musician B and hear the new and improved music. So did you hear it? Uh, keep in mind that I'm listening to this conversation and not the stream, because if I try ah. to listen to the stream, you're going to hear the stream. It's ah. going to echo back. So, uh, there's now a flute accompaniment in the music, so... Oh, nice. Which makes sense, because as we just saw, he is a flautist. Yep. Even though his name is Pian... Uh, I, I think it's a he? Pianissimit. Pianissimit. Which... Wait, well... Well, pianissimo is actually not, it's not piano, it's uh, softly, very softly. Yes, and the flute actually does come across very softly. So, aptly named. Good afternoon. Oh, I so, just noticed that that tree is also a 2D element. Well, it is PS1 era, so... And I am ah, I fell down. So, uh, since we rescued our good friend uh, Lumpwood here, he's he's gonna allow us to Twin Peak Mountain because. 
Lumpwood oh, here. You replaced with Macho when when you rescued Shadow. Yep. And I'm gonna go south a little bit, just uh, just a little bit. Yay for unlocking a new area of the game. Oh right, I don't have that yet. I'm not supposed to be here yet. Also, music is fairly well rocking. I'm sad to say you aren't hearing it, but trust me on it, it is Ooh. fairly good. I'm guessing you have to knock down that boulder first. Yeah, we can't do it yet. And that boulder acts as your bridge across that path. Go away, you. Well. And... Lardwick. Uh, Ali, you can eat Tactical Soldier Lardwick on explosives. Night Lardwick. <laughs> and, of course, we're seeing two things. Yeah, one of them looks very awkward. Oh, thankfully, he's just across the thing that I can just absorb. Satiate. That's not the ability I need. I need this guy's ability. Shrink. Is that a permanent one now? Uh, as, until I replace it with something else, it will stay as fusion. This must be the month the mayor was talking about. How to save the dog. Touch dog using directional buttons, then carrying them by pressing either triangle or square. If it falls into the river, he'll return where the bone is. Well, here goes nothing. Also, sorry, everybody, if you're like, Oh, why are you hitting the dog? Because I'm a horrible person. Uh, no, it's more of just... Also, he travels super far and... To see me. As I'm watching this, I just see you walk directly into the water. Twice. So all we really need to do is just get off the mountain, and then we automatically just rescue uh, Leno here. As long as you're carrying him while you do so. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait! Oh, well, now that the mud is back, I can ask the mayor about the five scrolls. Yeah, at like 9.45 at night. You gonna go knock on the mayor's door. You mean 7.45? Uh, 8 o'clock. 19 oh. minus 12 is 7. Oh, ah, you. time to meet Wanda. Is this your first time at a place like this, baby? Uh, that's right. I'm Musashi. Nice to meet you. No, nice to meet you. Have a nice time. So... Yeah, th this is what I mean by it's like, th this is not a restaurant, this is a bar, and you know it. <laughs> yeah, no, this is very much a bar. So, we can chat to people who are here, or we can eat something. I'm not going to eat well, anything, like but... You're being awfully suggestive and come on towards someone that everyone keeps re referring to as a kid. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to show off the items that you can eat here... Just read Wanda's description of them, and it's like, oh god. Yeah, I like the juice one. 93% freshly unsqueezed orange juice, 7% squeezed. 
So Jeez. basically, it's a glass with an orange in it, because it's partially squeezed, it's barely squeezed. Ah, uh, yes. Pea soup. Cake! Good lord! Temple peas. <laughs> Cake is, oh god. Ew. Just... I'm waiting for the string to catch up to that part. Oh, 99% lard. Wow. 1% sugar. Well, 1% sugar is low. 99% lard is definitely high. <laughs> Gr uh, gravy? Gravy. Brown and runny. Well, um, that's not how I would advertise my diet. I mean, gravy. Salad? Mmm. Probably the only thing that actually sounds pretty decent is the lasagna. Take care to pick out the aphids. And then... Hey, at least it's uh, pesticide free. And then, yeah, vegetarian lasagna with 100% plastic. I mean, artificial cheese. I mean, plastic. <laughs> the one thing worse wow. is... Wow, holy shit. 50% <laughs> pork, 50% tapeworms. <coughs> Sorry, everybody, but yeah, oh, the wow. pork. You're dying over that one. Yeah, the pork chop is. Ugh. So we actually have the manager of the restaurant. Yeah, I would like to speak to the manager on this one. I just went full Karen on that, but uh, I don't even care. Yeah. So we have Mr. Manic. Food's awful here. Uh, this is your. O this is the place you own, sir. Yeah. Right. You're the manager of this place. Uh, you might want... Oh, no. She's apparently the owner, I thought. He's the manager. So, uh, Macho, you can play cards with and earn uh, Dryan, which is the, the currency. Eh. It's not that good. Uh, Mr. Toast is one of the farmers. Actually, no. He's actually Jam's father. And it's disturbing. Oh, wait, no, that's not Toast, then. That's Mr. Toast. Yes, Mr. Toast. Uh, we have a tourist, which... Eh. Mr. Lands is one of the farmers. Which Mr. Lands was... We met Mrs. Lands earlier. Yes. Because she's, she's one of the... the one we were talking to, I think, Mrs. Grains? Yes. Something like that. So we can talk to Wanda this way, and... But yeah, no, this is 100% a bar. <laughs> Especially with the way Wanda is talking. <laughs> she is a hostess. She is not a waitress. She is a hostess. Yeah, she's like, what will you do now, baby? You're going to leave me? I'm going to miss you, baby. I'm in love. So we I'm can... A hero. <laughs> uh... So we can actually get some free heal items, which is the well water. Oh, nice. And... God, I forget. I Well, H2O, really? It's not good, because it only restores 5 HP. Oh, by the way, uh, notice the fact that, like, we've actually leveled up some, so it's like body is 4, mind is 3, fusion is 4. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to go back and sleep in my room, because, eh. Yeah, you're no longer a little turd, you're now an apprentice. Yes, I'm no longer Sir Little Turd. <laughs> and then after you sleep, and then in the morning you can go back and talk to the mayor. Yep. And if we go to sleep at any time before uh, midnight, we wake up at 5 a.m., by the way. I mean, that's that's respectable. That's pretty much my life. I go to sleep at 11.45 and wake up at 5 a.m. Yep. So now we just kind of sit around and dink about in front of the mayor's place. Oh, he, his, you're, we're getting there before his office hours? Uh, his office hours are, as you could probably expect. 8 to 5, Monday through Friday? 9. <laughs> 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. So, basically, we're going to do this. Blorp. 9 to 5. Okay, I'm done. 
I've demonetized this. I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna wake up. See if he's awake. Oh, he's awake at 8.45. Nice. And, of course, the mayor doesn't know a damn thing about the five scrolls. <sighs> but, that weirdo in the stocks does! Why do you have him locked up, then? So, as a kid, I thought outskirts meant outside the town. It's close to accurate. So, uh, actually, there's one thing we have to get first. Doo -doo -doo. Mm, I've got some hankering for some bread. It's not so open the yet. That, the, the, guy that, the guy that's locked up, he is currently locked up for arson, kidnapping, murder, and jaywalking. Well, uh, since uh, the bread store is not going to be open, it... oh wait, I forgot the schedules are a thing. Who are you? Ah yes, pawn shop Connors. What a disgusting shop! Ah, uh, be quiet. What do you want, anyways? So there will be chests in the game that we will find and open up and get items from and oh they're closed today god damn it I should have been faster well let's go talk so, I'd like to point out that the, that the pawn shop slash appraisal shop is giving me some strong uh, wall market uh, <laughs> vibes uh, Connors isn't as bad as um somebody he, he's actually pretty good no i meant specifically um oh the aesthetic uh, come here, well boy. no very specifically though the one shot right. um you saved my boy dang it thanks he... i really appreciate it dang it i can't remember <laughs> what the water, the item shop and some bread. Ah. Not anything to eat. the one that in the original you had to go get the thing from the vending machine oh well, in this one too. I have where you had to go Hold get it on, from the vending I'll machine. Get you some. Thanks, man. Uh, some water. Leave the bread. water, man. I've had ADD in three days. Also, uh, the person that you're voicing over is Steve Bloom, by the way. Steve Bloom? Steve Bloom! The man in the <laughs> stocks is voiced by Steve Bloom. Also, uh, just as a fun fact, Musashi is voiced by Wendy Lee, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you can double you know check I, for me. You know, what if I'm really, you know what if I'm really crazy and interesting? What? Is just thinking about the era when this was going on. Because I remember in the in the uh, post that you made that, we, that I shared, that we both shared, but mm -hmm. you made on the page, blah, blah, blah. Um... It even showed, like, on the cover art that, like, comes with uh, a demo of Final Fantasy VIII. So this is that era. Final yeah. Fantasy VIII was like, oh, hey, we're going to go be hyper-realistic. Nope. Uh, and we're going to be, we're going to look exactly real life. Nope. And that's that's going to be our claim to fame here. Ray Fencer Musashi is like, no, we're going to go with something even more polygon. That, that the, poly the polygon art level is very reminiscent of Lagaya. But we are going to freaking revolutionize putting voice acting into our games with this one. Yeah. Because a Final Fantasy game with voice acting of this level, uh, even 10 can't really claim that. Yeah. And like we're talking we're talking at that point, we're talking pretty much 12 was the first one that got to this level of voice acting. Even then, actually, even then, I, because even then, um, uh, there's still a lot of NPCs in 12 
and in 13 and in 15 that don't have voice acting. Yeah. And admittedly, like, the size of this game is not actually that big. Which is crazy with all the voice acting files. Or with all, because the older games, they use minis to get around that. Oh no! Ah, oh, Musashi, why do you jump on what? Oh. That's me being stupid. Oh. No. And I'm trying to get on this pole here. There we go. Ah, okay. I had to catch up to see what you were talking about, but yeah, I see that. Yeah, uh, I'll leave this alone for now. Oh, I can't do much. Uh, I can't do much right now, because that's horrible garbage. I literally have to wait for the... I... And I am... Uh... It's funny, most of the damage you've taken is grounding damage. Yeah. I feel stupid, but yes. And half the impetus for you trying to rush through, well, maybe not the ghosts, because those respawn super crazy fast. Yeah. But I was going to say, you could probably just kill them and get a little bit of a either. Yeah. At least the money. At least the money, yeah. And restock my actual healing, which is the gels for a bit. Welcome. Oh, yeah. What do you need? But, uh, technically one of the recommended stuff that, uh... Uh... Because the... Oh, it's 390. But, like, if you keep milk and don't use it, it's supposedly, uh, like, one of the early game recommendations for gaining money is, uh, basically just get a bunch of milk, sleep for days... And then, basically, uh, uh, get it to the point where it turns into cheese, and then sell it back. Yeah. But, I'm gonna try and keep at least uh, one so that we have some really good healing items uh, near endgame, because cheese is super good as an endgame healing item, by the way. Fair enough. Pardon me for just a moment. I was about to wonder what the heck that was. And yes, I know people will probably say like, hey, you just bought a toy, why don't you show that off? Like, uh, I guess we could for a bit. I mean, we could, yeah. So, uh, one thing about the toys is that you uh, you can buy them, and then you can technically sell them back for more money, or... So, when you get them, uh, you can literally see the package, and these are actually higher def models than in-game. So... Yeah, so it's like we can actually see like what Musashi w uh, is supposed to look like if he wasn't SD, and like what Lumina and Fusion looks like. So uh, one thing is that if you don't open the package, uh, you can sell them back at a later point in the game and then get more money for them. If I open this. Uh, I can then play around and see how the play game plays, but I technically can sell it back, but it won't be as much as it could be. To be honest, so, you re it, so it varies depending on, uh, uh, depending on various things, or 
Uh, it's more about just certain things. Ah, makes me think of the bottle caps from RE4. So, I'll be honest, uh, these are just kind of fluff, so I'm just going to open it. Fuck it. So, uh, we actually get to see Musashi as what he's actually supposed to be running around like. So, we can zoom in. Uh, and then see an explanation. Some to all you can eat kingdom. And he gets like two attacks. And they're basically like super good, like toy like animations that you will see. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what the toys are. Which is pretty cool. Because that's still better articulated than most of the stuff I saw as a kid. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is still, like, 3D, but it's, like... it It's a weird kind of collectible that really just kind of, like, feels very nice. Mm -hmm. So, time to just sit in front of the bakery and wait till that opens up. So we can go grab the bread. Let's get this bread. Hello, get Janet. Bread. May I help you? So if you came to uh, the guy in the stocks with the bread but no water, he will say basically like, but leave the water, uh, but, but leave the bread. And he did say leave the water earlier when you only had the water. I remember that. Yeah. So we're going to buy him uh, some rye bread because that's... All we really need. Uh, the way uh, bread will not get like uh, moldy, it will just go to uh, from like fresh bread to stale bread, and it will lose uh, some of its uh, effectiveness essentially. Water. Well, that's, I mean, that's better than it could be. Yeah. Now milk has actual like three stages before it hits cheese. So it starts out as milk, then it goes to soured milk, and then it goes to yogurt before hitting cheese. So basically it's supposed to be a trick that, oh, Here wow, go, it's pal. spoiled. I guess I'll just Don't get just rid of it. Don't just show me the food, man. Ah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Don't worry, pal. I'll feed it to you. Jeez, chill out. I do like the inner thoughts of Musashi, too. <laughs> also, hello, John. John, the treasure hunter. And you? I'm Musashi. Um, what's a treasure hunter? <laughs> well, to put it simply, I search the world for treasure. Oh, he's a thief. I experienced life. <laughs> Why do you say that? So, you're just a thief then. Huh. Because <laughs> when you said that was second, right Musashi. as Musashi said I it. I want to show you my gratitude. I'll tell you a secret. But only if you set me free. Ah, uh, my delay is getting worse then. I, yeah, because it took a little while for me to catch up to that line. Okay. So, well, we're going to let okay, John go. I'll do it. My man. Well, I left the key to the stocks in a grave in the Andering Forest. Because I knew I'd get out some. I mean, you kind of have to. Okay, so I should get the key then? Yeah, but a nasty spell has been cast in the Andering Forest. And it won't be easy to find the graveyard. <laughs> so, take my boy Leno. Why did he what? have the key That's to the stocks? Much? Well, a few days because oh, of reasons. <laughs> because the... he went to Twin Peak Mountain. But no oh. worries. Once he's in the Andering Forest, it's smooth sailing. So go oh, and Leno's his Leno dog. Leto is technically the right. town dog, but Don't he's really friendly with John for so some yeah. reason. All right. I'm a dog's bodyguard. Whatever. This so is I all very suspicious. That's it. 
so you guys should meet at the entrance of Meandering Forest. Good luck. And... So basically, time to go into the forest. And I'm guessing that if he runs away because he got hurt, he's going to run straight back to town. Nope. Uh, he runs back to the entrance of the forest. Oh, okay. So close, but not yeah. quite. Can't go down there yet, and that pisses me off. I'm guessing you have to find a way to either protect yourself from steam or find a way to turn that off. Oh, you, you'll you find out that one. Uh, probably not this stream, because I'm not that fast. But probably next week. Probably next week. And yes, there is no ability that allows me to bypass those stupid thorns. Other than Tom. Yeah. Oop. Bincho. Oh, yes, it is pulsing slowly. Yeah, it actually does uh, pulse when things are close by. Uh, it, it it, it's not a, like, oh, when you're right next to it thing. It, is, it actually is, like, as long as you're watching it, you can see that there's... Also, I'd like to point out for the record that that is super freaking cheap. Oh. Sleep. Attack. Sleep. Yeah. Thankfully, the mushrooms only do about 10 damage, so it's like, eh, I can deal with it. Yeah. So, Binch, I forgot about how to do this initially, but we could have gotten these guys earlier. Whatevs. So... Seer Beaverly, who, uh, I'm guessing not your favorite of the characters. She's basically the hint system, and not a good uh, hint system, by the way. So we found the. So but it's yes. more like it's it's almost more like Oracle in the Star Ocean series, where it's generally helpful but also not really. Yep. And we found an old crown. Huh, I wonder if that'll come in useful someday. Actually, no it won't. Aww. Actually, uh I, I wanna do a quick look at it. So, a wretched old crown made of silver. Just just to show that off. <clears throat> well, it says it needs to be appraised, so I'm guessing our appraiser is going to be like, Oh, hey, this is worthless. I'll give you a five bucks for it. Yeah, basically any of the quotations garbage items we get, we can sell back to Connors to get some Dran. Please note that you at least get the... Um, horrible pun with Connor's name. Connors? Yes. Yeah, no, I got that. <laughs> so, yes, there's a lot of puns in this game. Honestly, I think that might be the most punishing factor of playing this game. <laughs> so, this will not be the... This will not be the first time we come into this woods, but, uh, as you saw... Well, it's sort of the first time, it just won't be the last. Go away. Because while we came in here for a couple seconds earlier, we immediately noped right back out. Yeah, because I was like, nope, we're not ready for this yet. Yep, because it turns out we needed a dog, and we did not have a dog. 
Also, I love the fact that the enemies are just immediately rushing him. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, this is my target. So if he wanders just a teeny bit too far from you, and one of those ghosts gets pissed at him, like that. Also, that the sound uh, Leno is making. Also, have you gotten the uh, the naming scheme of John and his dog? No, that one I haven't gotten. John and Leno. John, as in John Lennon. John Leno, as in the talk show host of the John Leno. Oh, as in Jay Leno. Yes. So they're trying to say Jay Leno's a crook? A noisy crook? Maybe. Well, time to grab this key. Oh no, that just, that seems weird though. Why would they go with John instead of going with Jay for him then? Uh, we'll, we'll find out more later. And... Aha, key, yes. So, basically, uh, we are done for now with the wo uh, with the woods. And thankfully, oh, ah. But I do actually like how this game plays, because A, it's... A, as you can tell, you use uh, can definitely see some of the inspirations that uh, Zelda may have had or taken inspiration from. I mean, yeah. Because I think this actually came out before Ocarina of Time. Oh right, I can't go here yet because. Weird looking rock. Looks kind of slimy. Ew, gross! It looks like a disgusting slug. Much later content. A weird slimy rock that looks like a slug. Yep. Yeah, it does kind of look like a slug. Huh? Oh no. Sleep. So one of your later abilities, one of your later abilities is going to be throwing salt. Not, uh, not abilities, per se, but definitely... Item. You'll get a, just a big, you'll get, just get a big old uh, thing of rock salt. Yeah. Let's see how I'm doing. Oh, Luma is at 11. Nice. Yes, very nice indeed. And everything else is getting close to 10. Yeah, two at mid to high 8 and one at mid to high 9. It's funny though, when you were talking about that uh, this is uh, cribs off of. Uh, other games for the whole take the damage to level. I wasn't even thinking uh, Morrowind, although it is an apt uh, comparison. Yeah. I'm thinking more Final Fantasy 2. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Beat each other to death for health. Traumatized goblins. <laughs> sorry, Leno. Uh, sorry, John. I'm just going to take a nap right in front of you. <laughs> So, wow. He's like, dude, you've got the key. I'm right here. Could you just... Thanks. But it's good, though, that it lets you keep uh, resting even when you're stuck at 20% tired. Thanks. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it still uh, still heals you up because uh, like one uh, bincho point uh, does a tick of health, which I think is about like three health. Oh wow, you actually just slept to the point where you can't do it. I forgot time. about that, but uh, I'm also that's keeping an eye awesome. on the time. That's awesome. So let's check to see when Connor's pawn shop, which is 11 to 4, closed on Monday. That's a very small hours for a pawn shop. And very close anyway. So let's go see what this old crown is. Also, thanks for the... Yeah, yeah. hundred. What do you want? So, we go in there, we go to appraise the old crown, looks at it, and gives the amazing It's a Cake Fan. Useful when baking a cake. There's some pretty weird item descriptions. So, a cake pan can be mistaken as an old crown. Uh, remember, this is Musashi, who's... kind of an idiot? Ah, uh, fair enough. I was gonna say, it's either Musashi's an idiot or the NPCs are idiots, because... The kids are running around with uh, one with a basket and the other with a pot on their heads. Yeah. Uh, oh, also... that could also be just the fact that they're little kids playing. Yeah. Well, remember, this is... Musashi picked it out of a tra uh, chest, and he's like, Oh, this, this may look like a, uh, a crown? Hands it to Connor's. Connor's like, Musashi. This is a cake pan. Pan. It trust it's silver. It's actually tin. It, it's it, it's like stainless steel, Musashi. It's a horrible cake pan, by the way, because it's stainless steel. Nobody wants a stainless steel cake pan, Musashi. See, that's why I said it was tin. I haven't seen you around before, young man. And, and here's a butter of fifty is pretty decent for nobody wants. Is that so? I hope you have a good time, young man. Yeah, trust me, there's some weird stuff that you can get praised and you get some weird amounts of money for it. Farmer Lactor? Farmer Lactor and Farmer Grange. I'm surprised that Farmer Lactor doesn't have any cows. I know, I was like when I finally got his name, it's like, where, where's his cows? So, we actually have to wait till very late at night. Of course. So, let's go do the sensible thing and fall asleep. At home and take a nap. So, what happens if you fall asleep in the middle of the day? You sleep till, uh, till twilight? Uh, you basically take a four or five hour nap-ish. Uh, okay. So it, sometimes it's better not to actually go to your ho uh, home. It's actually better to take the nap room. So. Or to just plop down on the ground thanks. where you are. But someone might see me. Come back after midnight. Oh, right. I have thanks, to go. Man. And. No. I have to go. Yep, you woke up too a little bit too early. Oh, just who I was waiting for. Open the lock to the stocks. Hold your horses. I'll get you out. You saw she used John's key. All right. Thanks, man. And the stocks just disappear. Now, how about the secret? Meet That's me a at pretty the top impressive of Twin key. Peak Mountain down four trees on your way up. We'll use the logs for... Uh-oh, someone's coming. See you later. So, next thing to do is head to the top of Twin Peak and meet up with John and hey, four wait. logs. What about the five scrolls? 
you know where they are, don't you? What? He left? What a weirdo. We'll no, use the log I for head off to Twin Peak reasons. Mountain. Yep. Logs. <laughs> I guess they're out of stock. Uh, and I'm looking at the time and we got like 10 minutes. That is accurate. We do have like 10 minutes. And I know for a fact that I'm not going to be able to get to the top of Twin Peak Mountain in 10 minutes. So let's go talk to some of the people we rescued, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Can we see the performance yet? Ah, right. We need to. Soshi, why did thou come hither? Oh, let's go visit. Uh, let's. So, uh, let's check out uh, Seer Beaverly, or actually, in this case, Beverly. Because her speech pattern is obvious once you speak to her. Hubble bubble broil and simmer, hubble bubble chop and skewer. Bye bye. So let's talk to Sol Dre, see what he has to say. On top of a mountain somewhere, I think. And now you see, you see why I'm just like, uh, I'll, I'll rescue her, but it's mostly just for the BP. So some people uh, will help you learn certain things. Certain people will not be immediately helpful. So, and if you notice, like... Like this guy who's not very helpful until you get his brother as well, I'm guessing. Yes. If you have to notice, like, we'll hover over certain people. And uh, Ribson here will actually say, like, Beaverly says we can find them on Twin Peak Mountain. Uh, or even Be uh, Beaverly doesn't know uh, where they are, uh, Beverly is at. So, let's go talk to Sausages. Which I'm guessing the people even Bavili doesn't know are the ones that are um, currently uh, in zones that you, or in zones that you haven't discovered yet. In zones that we haven't discovered yet, slash, uh, you just you should be able to find like almost um, like ninety percent of the people just by exploring in this game. And nope, sausages can't do it without Clown Weenie, because Clown Weenie says he has to be the one in front, uh, in charge. Damn it, Weenie! What a Weenie! So let's go talk to Weenie and see if we can see that uh... amazing performance that we've been building up for the last hour. Did you come to see our stunt? Okay, here we go. Whoops, we need an orange. God damn it, weenie. Why do we need an orange? It makes sense once you have the orange, but god damn it, weenie. Why? They're out of stock. <laughs> For now, yes. Take care on your journey. So... Uh, this is why the inn is the save point, uh, because of the factory that, uh, since the inn is the save point, and not your room, admittedly, it makes more sense if you put either or, but, uh, the inn is open 24 hours, 7 days a week. Welcome. Whereas, at home. sorry if I'm a little belchy. But I'd say we did pretty good. Yeah, it seems that way. We made some good progress. We got we did we got some people. We met some people. Mm -hmm. We did some things. We saved a dog. We busted one dude out of stocks. Yep. And I'm just gonna swap this over so we can do the uh, after stream spiel for the last five minutes or so. Okay. But, nope, that's uh, Brave Fencer Musashi, so 
this well, should be two hours of it at least roughly two hours so uh it's going to be a fairly short playthrough because this is not a very long game by the way um, now he told me um i guess i'm gonna have to start thinking about what my next game is going to be then but we've seen how shit i'm i've been playing it so oh yeah true so it would have been like five sessions it's actually gonna be like 12 uh more like eight but yes um other things i should mention is eddie is returning to streaming tomorrow Woohoo! so yep eddie's making his triumphant return um so that we can get back to slogging through uh seven r uh slogging through uh technically we're in end game though because we've finished up most of the side quests that we could and so now he's trying to take care of the rest of it. I think now he's opened up most of the uh, the virtual missions in the tower. Ah, yes. But we have not gone through that part yet, so. Um, but, so be on the lookout for it. Uh, other factors is that there will probably be a new podcast very uh, for both FRG Weekly and uh, Front Row Perspectives. Uh, as such, I do have a slight announcement to make uh, about Front Row Perspectives. Uh, we will be slowing down a little bit in the coming months because, uh, of course, things have been coming up. But uh, there may not, uh, like, we'll be doing stuff more on a topical slash if we have enough people kind of basis. Yeah. So it's it's not like we're canceling front row perspectives. It just it's going to be more along the lines of like whatever is currently more topical or a much needed topic or we start revisiting stuff. So uh, probably next stream, I may talk a little bit more about like Bra uh, Brave Fencer Musashi or its sequel Samurai Legend Musashi. Good God. I have played both. Uh, sad to say, I got to the final dungeon in Samurai Legend Musashi, and actually, this was not real life interfering, but just I was bleh out of hell because I just there was better games to play at the time. So, uh, in this case. Uh, if you want to support us, of course, we have the best way to support us, of course, word of mouth. Um, if you want a slightly more direct method, uh, we do have our Red Bubble store, uh, our Patreon, and of course, the subscription here via Twitch. Via the Which, if you have Prime Prime Gaming via Amazon. By all means, please feel free to throw us your uh, your Prime free uh, sub uh, subscription. We would appreciate. Yep. Um, because apparently I just discovered today that they rebranded "quote unquote" Twitch Prime to Prime Gaming. Yeah, because Amazon is trying to get its own gaming platform up and running. Woohoo! That's gonna be. Fun. <laughs> All right, but um, other uh, But if you just like our content, of course, there's the um, follow button, the subscribe button on the YouTube's, which our streams will be usually archived on our YouTube page. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. do have a Facebook and Twitter and Instagram account. Uh, we have nothing to deal with that one app that's probably going to get banned for yeah no no nothing at all nothing at all but uh other than that uh if you like the content uh follow on twitch just so you can get notified when we start streaming we we generally have a pretty solid schedule which is friday night roughly around 7 45 uh arizona time whereas saturday night usually is around 7 p.m uh, streaming, and unlike Friday night, which is about roughly two hours worth, 
nice little bite chunk. Uh, Eddie usually goes to roughly around 11 or 12. So, much larger chunk. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for joining, because we just hit the two-hour mark. And, uh, may you for, uh, I was about to do one of your guys' thing, but, uh. I mean, you can do it, you just gotta figure out what you're gonna do for Musashi. In this case, uh, hopefully, if you're ever stuck in an isekai, hopefully you're stuck with Musashi. That doesn't work. Not very everybody. Well. Not everybody. <laughs>